Hi everyone, I'm Yasin Jaffu and I'm a Solutions Architect here at Appvia. If you're familiar with Helm, you will know that it is used in Kubernetes to install and upgrade applications. What if I told you that you can use Helm to also deploy cloud resources, such as databases, cloud storage buckets, or workload identities in AWS? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create those resources using Helm. However, in order to do this, you will need an AWS account, a Kubernetes cluster, the Helm client, and the Terraform operator. Before we begin, I've already created an AWS account and an IAM user with sufficient privileges to create and manage an AWS S3 bucket. I have stored the AWS credential as a Kubernetes secret ready to be consumed by the Terraform operator. I have also installed several packages on my laptop, which are needed for this demo. And you can do the same by following the instructions in our repo. Let me show you how to create an AWS S3 bucket using Helm. First, we need a Kubernetes cluster, which I will go ahead and create with Kind. Perfect. Our cluster is ready and we can interact with it. We can now install the Terraform operator into the cluster using a Helm chant. It takes around a minute or two for the Terraform operator to start up. We can watch the progress. As you can see, it has been installed and it is now up and running. Before we can create any cloud resource, we need to create a Kubernetes secret with the AWS credential. I am using long-lived access keys for the demo, but I recommend using a workload identity with least privilege access for your own production use cases. Let's see what cloud resources we can currently create using Helm. Let's head over to Artifact Hub and search for AppView. As you can see, we have a few options. Let's add the AppView Community Helm repository and grab the command we need to create an AWS S3 bucket from the readme file. Let's copy that and run it. We can verify if the Kubernetes custom resource has been created and then check whether the Terraform runner pod has successfully applied our Terraform module. We can also quickly confirm that there isn't a second bucket created yet in our AWS account. We can see that the apply stage is still in progress. Great, it is now complete. We can inspect the Terraform outputs that are available to us. We can see that the Terraform operator has created a bucket with this name. And we can go back to our AWS account to confirm that the bucket does exist. Lastly, we can install a simple Kubernetes workload that writes to the bucket and reads from it for completeness. As you can see, we have successfully added an object to the bucket. We can also verify this on the AWS Management Console. Now, let's read the object back. Perfect. This shows that we have successfully written an object on a S3 bucket and read it back from the bucket. Let's walk through the solution through the lens of the producer and consumer. As an infrastructure operator, such as a DevOps or platform engineer, you will produce versioned Terraform modules and Helm charts with default and configurable parameters and publish the charts to a repository, such as our own AppVia community repository. As an application developer, you will consume those Helm charts to self-serve cloud resources in your Kubernetes clusters. Now that you have seen how you can create a cloud resource using Helm, let me explain to you why we have come up with this solution and pattern in the first place. There is no simple and consumable way to present declarative infrastructure to application developers, which means that they have to learn infrastructures, code, languages, and tools to self-serve cloud resources, which is very time consuming 
and can be very costly to the business. Application developers can build applications and manage their dependencies locally with Docker, Kubernetes, and Helm. But they have to rely on a separate team with sometimes little understanding of the applications and their requirements for cloud services to build the necessary cloud resources on their behalf. I hope that you have enjoyed this demo. And if you have any questions or if you wish to find out more, then please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you.